money moves with myth 2.0 the podcast and always remember gentlemen it's a mother movie so today we're going to be reacting to Charlemagne the God um after he had a, uh, you know, he had shown his support to Kamala Harris, you know, but we're going to be reacting to a video of him speaking to um, people about what he thinks about the uh, Trump winning and stuff like that, so... You know, I don't really know what's going on in this video, but I know I wanted to react to it, guys. So, without further ado, make sure you guys please like, share, and subscribe. And let's get straight into the content. I think Kamala ran a great campaign for a 100-day campaign. I think that, you know, the Democratic Party as a whole, historically, has been letting people down. And sadly, she is... Now, what's wrong with these dudes? What's wrong with these dudes, bro? He's he is the epitome of a simp. You know, Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, she could be my and this and that. And and instead he went, men act like this and and not being able to take charge, <clears throat> then a female's still not gonna respect you. Basically, you're a pushover. You, you know, people like Charlamagne the God do not go off logic. You know, what we actually need. We're going to keep playing, but I'm, but I'm actually, we're going to keep playing this. But I'm actually thinking that a lot of guys, um, you know, a lot of dudes just mm -mm. is the face of that right now, and she's getting a lot of the brunt of just a backlash to the to the to the to the Democratic Party that people have been feeling for years. So I don't I don't I don't want right. to put it all on her at all. No, not pull it all on her, but let's keep it real. I mean, just to answer questions. I mean, come on, get a president. You have to be like Obama was a masterful speaker. Right? Yeah, but, that, but, we Michael, but, but Obama, that that, that's black Jesus, though. That's Michael Jordan. Like, you, 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 we, that he's a one of the one. He's he just said that Obama is black Jesus. Um, I don't think that we should compare any human being to uh, such, get them such grace to compare them to Jesus. You know, and then they talk about the backlash that, um, the backlash that the Democratic Party has been receiving, um, and Kamala's taking the fall for that. No. Like, these guys really just, like Charlemagne the God, really just tells people, like the, the sheep, you know, tells the sheep what they want to hear. Um, it's not that. Like, Kamala Harris, it's, it's, it's not about her being a woman, the ETC. You know, um, but what type of policies, again, would, did she come up with? She said something about uh, legalizing weed for African-Americans. But most of us, we're going to smoke marijuana if it's legal or illegal. So that didn't really count for nothing, you know. <laughs> like, like, we want to come up. We want to work. We want to... We want better schools for our kids, books, you know, we want jobs, we want the border shut down, you know, so we can, you know, take care of your people first. He's a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> talent, man. Like, I, I don't like when people compare people to Barack Obama. He just, that's like comparing people to Jordan. He's just a one-on-one. -on -one. But not a comparison, but I'm just saying to I naturally what you're saying, answer though. a question. No, I get what just you're answer saying. a question. And did you guys say policy, right? So she's sending it like, like, I like the agenda. If you're going to rob these corporations, will you put the money into the American people? I don't think the Democrats would have did that. No, Democrats Facts. always do that. I mean, honestly, since... Facts. 
you see the dude schooling uh schooling Charlemagne. Democrat was the Democratic Party what I seen it seems like since most of them it's like they're eating up all the funds. Like where are, where's all the funds going? Um what Pen uh Philadelphia, like Pennsylvania, uh uh the streets need new asphalt, uh uh jobs that people can be having like all the trash we see in some of these communities these could be jobs but we're seeing the democratic places that go democrat you guys are not backing it up it's crazy world war ii uh the economy has always done better under democratic presidents and that's because that's what they're willing to do they're willing to tap the you know the, these big corporations just enough to where we get relief in the middle class and the poor just what he doing over there rolling up as we speak, no, no, you you got some guys out here like Charlemagne, the God, who, you know, they don't really care about, you know, they only care about money, basically, you know, um, um, and since they're not in a in a, in, a, in a position of where struggling Americans like me and you are at then they cannot see the issues that's going on. Like, how can you vote for somebody, you know, who doesn't have the experience to lead men, you know? Um, and Donald Trump, on the other hand, has the spirit, the power, to lead men, you know. So that's basically what I'm saying. Enough. Thank you, brother. Hello, who's this? Good morning, this is DJ. What's up, DJ? Talk to us this morning. Yeah, uh, uh, first of all, good morning to you, Envy, Charlemagne. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Um, good morning. I agree uh, with Charlemagne. You know, I think people are just fed up and tired with the economy. Um, I went out and I voted for Kamala yesterday, praying and hoping she wins. I have four daughters, 17, 16, 14. And you see what I'm saying, guys? Here we go. The, the uh, black man, you know, the soft black man, the, the guy who um, wants a, 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 a woman to lead, to be in a position, uh, a, a, a great position. Like, I think that's very simpish, you know. Um, it's absolutely insane. Can you guys actually think about like if we were we were a country and we were powerful and we were interested in something that you, in your country and you guys had a bunch of chicks and heels and bikinis? They're gonna. We're not thinking that we're not intimidated by that. You know, we're not intimidated by that. We're going to probably invade you and, <laughs> you know, anything can happen. So, I, but what I'm hearing is a lot of black men be like, oh, oh, I got daughters and stuff and I got to, you know. Um, but what's right, though? Like, did you explain to your daughters that uh, 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 Kamala Harris brought, um, 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 basically the dancer showgirls of the black community, including uh, uh, Cardi B, who is of the Spanish community. She's not African-American, you know what I'm saying? To persuade us to vote. And what type of message is that going to send to this man's four daughters? You know, so obviously you can already tell that people people's votes and mindsets don't be in the right place at all. Denied. And I just worry about their future, you know? Man. Um, but everything that's going on, if it was just me by myself and I have any kids, whatever, cool, I could thug it out. But I worry for my children's future. And I, like... Oh, what do you mean that you worry about your children's future? What did the Kamala Harris give you that, you know... Um... No, Kamala and the Democrat Party really were, uh, it's not, uh, you know, um, to me, I don't really, but 
really care, but we need policies in place where we're building um, um, Fortune 500 uh, 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 steel companies and, and um, car companies and stuff like that. And do does Kamala seem like the person who would do heavy duty work like that? You know, it's absolutely insane that you would put all of the power not into yourself, but uh, but into Kamala Harris. This is what we're hearing from the black community, guys. And let me know if you guys think I'm wrong. You know, you know what Charlemagne said, I think the country spoke. Uh, yesterday, and this is what they want. And I, everybody thinks, you know, things are going to be better. So we'll see. Oh, Hopefully not. Say, hey, Hopefully you're, you're right, wrong. Man. Yeah, I, I want I'm hearing a bunch of guys who be scared, who be scared to keep it real, because the women are gonna judge me. Black women are gonna judge me because I'm afraid to keep it real. That's what I'm hearing. It's not, I'm going to stand for what I believe in and what I know is right and lead these women like men are supposed to do. We're hearing people like Charlemagne the God, D.L. Hughley, and other famous males who sound like they don't have a leadership quality bone about them. You know, it's crazy. I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong. Yeah, I want to be wrong too. Let's I, let's unite. I, let, I hope they unify. We we got to come together now. But I will say this: I got four. I got four beautiful daughters at the house, man. Um, boy, America threw a middle finger to women yesterday. Yes. Not not even not even just on the fact that you know there was a woman you know running Vice President Kamala Harris, but just the fact that women right now have less rights in 2024 than they did when I was born in 1900. And and what else, Charlemagne? Be real. On, on the radio, what else are they, uh, 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 um, um, you said they don't have rights. I, for what I'm saying, women got every right, especially over a black man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can see women walk down the street with literally nothing on. With my daughters, you know, which you guys don't care about. You guys like that. You know what I'm saying? You got that. I, I, I think a lot of you dudes freaky like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like yeah, man, that shit crazy, bro. You know, um, um, talking about rights that women don't, women have abundantly more rights than men. And uh, some of them are, to, are not fair. You might disagree. You know, but in '78, like abortion was on so many ballots across the country mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Women's reproductive rights, and I mean, when I say America just to a middle finger, I mean it was an emphatic no. Right. Like no. Like the way I feel about Lawrence Wiggs is how they felt about women. How you feel about it? How you feel about it? Tell no. Me. No. Damn. <laughs> no. Damn. Hell, okay. No. All right, I give you that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You can tell what type of dude this is. You see, like I said, like how black men be with, with black women, you know, it's like, tell me who you're going to be. You know what I'm saying? And you all buttering up and stuff instead of keeping it real, you know, um, uh, over these chicks who are meant to, if they're going to be with a man, they're meant to follow a strong man and his purpose. But... You guys always conform and some, it's like you're being submissive to the woman. And so if dudes out here being, if Charlemagne the God is being submissive to the two women, you know what I'm saying? Do what you do, homeboy, but it's absolutely insane. <sighs> oh, 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 I just, I, I don't think you understand the plight of, you could talk about the wigs all you want in real life this morning. Uh, I'm just, I was literally just sitting here thinking like, yo, we are, I can't say the word on air, yo, but it's, two, it's a rap. Think about it, right? I'm not, I'm not hopeful, y'all. Maybe it's different because y'all are men. I don't well, feel I don't think hopeful. There's, there's nothing, I don't think there's any other way to go is, but to be helpful, like, hopeful. I mean, like, women always complaining about, like, they got all the rights in the world, bro. Like, basically. Like, and then, like, when you need a man, it's like. Every woman needs a system, which they have a system. You can live out your life. But God created women to 
be under the man who was under God, you know. But you know, they want it a different way. They want woman, um, woman over man, man, uh, uh, children over man, uh, uh, new purses over man, my job over man, everything over my man. And that's why the divorce rate is so bad. Like we can, have four more years of this. So I can book a silk press appointment oh and the natural goodness. hair girls. I'm not worried about the wigs. Price of clothes going to go up. I'll figure it out. But when it comes to the fact that like I'm about to be fighting for people to believe that I should be able to make decisions myself, that I'm a person. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, yeah, I don't know if these numbers are true, but I'm looking like white women. 69% of white women voted for Trump. Like, is that crazy? Okay, because well, you know why 69% of white women voted for Trump? And... Uh, because a lot of them have families, you know, a lot of white people have families and they're um, thinking logically, you know, and um, I think that there a lot of people made the right decision, you know, so to vote for Trump. It, it got to be they seen something that was very off, like we could have been invaded by Korea, and then I'm getting a, a letter from the military drafting me to the military to go fight, you know, and drafting your son, and drafting your uncle, and, and every dude, and you ladies are back here like, please guys win, because they're, oh, no, 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 you know how emotional you guys is, man, you know, it's absolutely insane, this is my first ever live stream, uh, we're gonna be doing it up on here guys uh so um you know we're gonna we're gonna keep the topics coming hold on let's see let's see let's, let's, it, that can't be let's true see, why not i mean it probably is because i mean yeah, it, well, it, it is true in 2020 but. i think it was 55 percent but why would you vote against your interest in that way because um, I, as, as, it's just it's just mind-blowing well let's well, how can you, you see it's like how how are they not voting into their interests? Everybody has a choice when it comes to reproductive rights. It, it's who's governed by the states. They have a right to lay down with whoever they lay down with. And if you have a baby, like I don't I'm not getting involved with none of that cuz I don't really care what what you do, but I just think that it's weird that you will sit down and, you know, if you had a child by somebody and it wasn't rape and it wasn't uh, uh, some misfortunate thing that you would lay your legs open for somebody and then want to go to abort the baby. That's just how I feel, but I don't care what you do. You know, Charlemagne, I don't know what type of uh, mascara, uh, 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 Chanel, uh, uh, Victoria's Secret, uh, D, he got going on, but it's just like D.L. Hughley. A lot of dudes that like, like the Black Man Summit. Oh my God, I want to react to that so bad. Uh, like, where was wrong with our communities, period. Let's take some more calls. We got a lot of people on the line. We'll take some more calls. But guys, that's all I got for the video today, guys. Man, you know, we gonna stay grinding. You know, stay focused. Uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all guys on the next video. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think on the topic. And also, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, fellas, it's a mother movie. Over and out.